Okay. Hi guys! Hi beautiful people! So how are you all doing? So my name is Mark and I'm a sugar artist based here in Manila, Philippines. I also do teach uh, sugar art, sugar flowers, and a lot more. So yup, if you're new to my channel, this is where I do anything and everything creative. So yup, we are on live. So we'll just wait for a few more of our viewers before we officially start. Although in this video recording or live session, after the live, I'll be posting it so you can rewatch it again and again afterwards. So basically today, I have decided to... It's a little bit shaky, I know, the table. <laughs> okay, um, I've decided to share with you something very easy. Um, it's frangipanis or some people call it as plumerias. They are a bit similar under the same family but they are still different in a way. So hi! La Solara Cake Custom Cakes. Hello, good evening. How are you? So I know some of you have finished their dinner. Some of you are still having their dinner. Hi, Gita Upili from India. Hello, thank you so much for watching. So yup, uh, I'll be teaching frangipanis the easier way without using any um, veiners. So basically today we're just going to use our bamboo skewers to add uh, life and texture onto it. And then of course, we'll be using the rose petal cutter. With regards to the size, this is number two. Hi, Angie Galolo. And um, this is for about, this is for about one inch by half, uh, one inch by one inch actually. So we'll be using this one. So yeah, we'll just wait for some more viewers before we start. And I'm so happy to be back on track, so I'll be doing this more often. So if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And this is where I do a lot of my vlogs like this. More of the craftsy style. Or the crafty style, I meant. Hi, Shakira Kasim from... Hello, hi, Gita. Oh, thank you for asking about my health. My health is actually getting well. That's why I can go back now to like really working like this and get in touch with all of you guys so yep um i think this is already good so we'll start after a few minutes um when we are done with the live session i'll be posting the video here as well okay so i will just tilt the camera one moment okay so we'll be transferring in a short while okay so yep okay there hope you can see clearly if you do have questions please do let me know hello hi shakira from south africa thank you for joining us in tonight's live session okay so i'll just adjust my board a little bit so that you can see is everything clear or can you hear me well okay okay if you can hear me well please type one like the number one okay we'll start in a short while Okay, so basically for this tutorial, what you need is the rose petal cutter. And then for the size, this is actually, yes, we'll measure it in centimeters to be exact. So this is around 2 centimeter actually, 2.5 by 3. Okay, so this is 2.5 by 3 centimeter. And then for our wires, we'll be using wire number 24, okay? So I'll just get a few of this wire number 24 and I will be cutting it. Normally, uh, I just divide it into four pieces, okay? Or four segments. So I cut the middle and then I combine and then I cut them again, okay? So we have our wires here. Anyway, we'll just be using five pieces of our wire. And then um, this is a... What do you call this? An exacto cutting knife board. So this is what I use for uh, rolling gum paste. Very thin. Okay, so I'll be using my gum paste recipe. This is the one that I uploaded here on my channel, which has gelatin, okay? So to start off, pardon me for the background music. The children's outside are noisy and the dogs. I don't know why. Thank God I no longer have chickens here, so you can no longer hear the chickens. I know some of you misses them, but yeah, we have to transfer them to the farm or the rest house far away. Okay, so just get a small amount like that of the gum paste. You can also use maco paste for this one if you like. 
Okay, so just knead and massage the paste. Okay. For the rest, oh, okay, sorry about that. For the recipe, it's actually on my YouTube channel as well. I'll be putting it on the description box below after this live, okay? So you add short uh, cornstarch, very little. Tap it. Knead and massage your paste. And then we will get our rolling pin. Okay, and we will start rolling. Okay, stop cornstarch. Very little. And then start rolling. So when you roll, just roll in one direction, okay? So that it will not stick to your rolling pin. Okay, just like that. Can you see it clearly? Okay, so we'll just use... Okay, it has some green pigments, our brush. So just use your hands for now. Add cornstarch and then roll. Okay, and then we roll again. As you see, I'm just rolling in one direction so that it will not stick to my rolling pin, okay? Just like so. Okay. Just like that. See that? But I almost forgot we do have to color this one. So yeah, we'll be adding colors first. Okay, so we'll just need and massage again our paste. So for today, we're using the gel color of Sugar, Pink, uh, Sugar King Color Pink Baker's Gel. Hi, Angie. Hello, Crook Cakes Philippines. Thank you for watching. Hi, Betchai. Betchai BJ. Hello, good evening. Okay, so we'll just add a very small amount. Super duper tiny, like one drop like that is good. Okay, so we'll just add some more <laughs> so that you can visualize the color more. Okay like that then we will just knead and combine the paste okay if it's a little bit sticky because this is gum paste add cornstarch okay and then just continue the process of stretch fold stretch and fold okay if you find it hard to stretch and fold you can add cornstarch on your entire hands and just blend it like so or it or twist then fold okay twist and fold because it's a little bit rainy these days so if you're using gum paste i highly suggest that you have to be in an area that is closed okay protected from the humidity otherwise it will become sticky or melt hello Saul from table four thank you so much for being here i missed you guys and i'm happy to see you all here Okay, so, yep. Here you can see it's very light pink. I will not blend it so much as you see. It's like marbled because it will add an effect to our frangipanis later on. Okay, so I'm adding cornstarch. Flip, add cornstarch again, and then I will roll. One direction, add cornstarch. Flip, roll. Okay. Okay, as you see, it's a little bit marbled in texture of the colors we need those lining so that when we add color yellow dust it will be more realistic okay at about this thickness this is already good okay, at around like that see that i know it's a little bit thick but we will be expanding our paste later on so that's okay okay we add some more cornstarch okay and then we cut. So when you cut, just press lightly and then move left and right, okay? So we basically need just five petals, okay? So press lightly, move left and right, okay? So we have our five petals already. Now we will insert our wires gently. Okay, so insert your wire. I know there are a lot of different techniques of how you insert wires, okay? The floral wires, these are available at baking supply stores. I get mine either from Baker Smart, Pasig City, or Bake at Al at Kainta. Okay, so you can go to their stores. They have a lot of different numbers. For the number of wires, the higher the number, okay, is everything. 
Okay, so everything clear. I think we're having some glitches on the internet. Okay, so we are. Hello, is everything okay or all right? If it's still clear, please do say hi or wave. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Can you see me? Yeah, can you see my fingers? I mean, so yep, I'll just cover this first with my hands. Is everything clear? So I shifted to the data mode. Yeah, is everything clear now? <laughs> Ah, because the internet lately is having some glitches, so I have to shift from the internet to the data mode. Okay, so, okay, everything's good. Yeah, we're back. Okay, so uh, I know a lot of you uh, has different techniques on how you insert wires. Some people will insert wire this way, okay, like pushing through something, but I highly suggest you try this technique. So you hold it in one of your hands and then insert it like this, okay? Because if you insert it like this way, you have more control, okay? You have to insert it until the very end because we're here together until the end of time. <laughs> okay, so kidding aside, we just insert it, okay, until the very end, just like that. You will feel the wires as you insert, okay? This is one of the flowers that is very easy to make especially if you have rush orders that needs minimal florals because you only have five petals to work on with and you no longer need veiners for this one okay so i will put them all on a side like this and then i will dab and add some cornstarch okay so that it will not be sticky we focus on one petal first okay here's my rolling pin add cornstarch you need to roll from half of the petal going outside, okay? So from half going outside, like this one. Just like that. Okay. Hi, Edna Kusi. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, Taralunga, Gabriel, and Angel. Hello, how are you doing? Okay, so at about two rolls from half going outside, okay? So your petals, as you see how it expanded and it became actually thinner. Okay, so from this to this, okay? Hello, shout out to Peace ND from Kalookan. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, so normally I put one petal on the side so that I have a guide when I roll. Okay, just like that. Okay. This one needs a little more. Okay, like that. Okay. So, okay. Sometimes it will be dislocated like that. Especially if you forgot to add cornstarch, so you can expand it using your fingers, okay? So we will now remeasure the length, okay? Because we expanded it. So now it is 3.5 or actually around 4. This is 4 centimeter already. Okay, so now we will be getting our barbecue stick or bamboo skewers, okay? And this is our foam pad where we will be sticking our petals, okay? So now what you will you do, get one petal first, okay, put your stick inside and then gently fold and press, okay, that, going to the other side, okay. So I hope you can see clearly what I'm doing here. I am just making character for the petal. Basically, um, you just need to press a little bit hard and twist, twist and twist, okay. So you have something like so, let it stand, okay, as you see it's standing on its own, okay, repeat the process, okay, put it underneath your fingers, roll, press and roll, press and roll, press and roll, okay, just like that, here again I repeat, press and roll, press and roll, press and roll, press and roll, see that, it's very easy. And now, go back, press and roll, press and roll, and then press and roll, okay? Just like so. You can also do this in clay or cold porcelain. Um, I'll be uploading a recipe for that one. Because <laughs> I remembered before I even got sick, I actually told people that I'll be uploading a recipe for cold porcelain, but I got sick and was hospitalized 
for almost a year. So I'm very happy that I'm back so I can upload it maybe next week. Okay, so now our petals are standing. So we will get our floral tape and start assembling it already. Okay, yes, you can assemble it already um, if you have experience working with gum paste, especially this one that has gelatin or maco paste. But if you don't have that much experience yet, you have to let it dry for about 15 minutes first, okay? Before you can arrange it into a flower. Okay, so we get our floral tape, cut it at this length. This is around 5 inches or 4.5, cut. Stretch to activate the stickiness, okay? Don't forget that. And then we get one petal first, okay? Bend it a little bit, okay? Get another petal. So we bend it. We put it overlapping like that, okay? You see, that's how it's gonna be. It's a little bit overlapped, okay? Bend, put on place, just like that. If you can no longer hold it, you can add your floral tip, pinch, and then twist it like that, okay? Just in case if you can no longer hold it, okay? And then get another petal, bend it a little bit, add on place, okay? So the reason why sometimes the wires are popping out, there are two reasons. The number of the wire that you're using is too thick. So you can adjust to a thinner wire number. This is number 24. So if you don't want your wires to pop out, you can use number 28, okay? Or another thing is you might be holding the petals the wrong way, okay? So if you're bending petals using gum paste, especially if it's not yet fully dry, don't bend it this way, okay? Because your wire will pop out. It needs support. Okay, like everyone else in the world, you need support, okay, like your friends, family, and so on. So what you need to do is hold it like this, and this is where you bend it a little bit, okay, so you see it's bent, and then we insert it this way, okay, so it's overlapped, as you can see, and then we continue wrapping it with floral tape. So now it's cleanly wrapped and then you gently twist it going down. Make sure the entire floral wire is covered so that it's clean. The excess, don't be sad. <laughs> you just need to cut it away, okay? Just like that. And then this is going to be what your flower looks like, okay? So it's all overlapped. But if you're a beginner, I highly suggest that you let it dry first at least 15 minutes before you assemble okay so this is what it would look like this one i'll just move a little bit because it should be overlap okay just like so okay see that so now this is what our flower looks like i hope you can see it clearly okay so i'll put it on place as i prepare my dust okay so for the dust uh, i'm using rainbow dust color yellow so this is yellow tart you can also use golden yellow or sunset yellow okay so i have here an excess board it's very beautiful right you can get this from um sjg bacon craft they have a lot of printed boards that it's very pretty this one is printed like a marble so this is an excess this is what i'll use i'll add little bits of my powder actually to the cup and then i will just zoom away the fan okay because when you're working with petal dust you have to go away or far away from the fan or any wind vents or window because it's going to fly all over your place and you don't like that okay so i'm using a flat brush that's very soft you can also use a makeup brush like this one if you wish. Okay, but for now, we'll be using the flat brush. Because for me, this is easier to find. You can even get this at um, art school supply stores or national bookstores. Okay, like that. It's flat brush. Okay. So we get our little bits of our dust. Get your flower. Okay, I'll bend it a little bit that you can see. I hope you can see it very well. We'll add our yellow pigments more at the center. 
Can you see that? And then gently going out underneath the curve. Okay. So my advice when you're using petal dust, you have to dab it first onto a surface or plate or if you're using parchment paper before you go directly to the petals. That way, you won't have too much pigments, okay? Because you have to work on it slowly and gently as you can so that your flowers would look nicer. Okay? Is everything still clear? Can you still see it? Okay. So now there you have it. You see it has a very beautiful and wonderful glow out there. Okay. So now since we are done, you can actually go on and add some more color yellows if you wish. Just to add more life to your flower. See that? It's perfect for um, tropical themed cakes. Since it's still soft, I can still move some of the petals, okay? Pinch it to however I wish the flower would be. Okay, so there you have it. This is our easy frangipani or kalachuchi in Philippine language or Tagalog. That's what we call it here. See that? There you have it. Okay. Again, if you don't want the wires to be seen, you can use a thinner wire number. This is number 24. You can use number 28. Okay. See that? So that's our beautiful frangipani. Okay. And then you can actually just let this dry like so. Or if you want to put it directly on cakes, you can actually do that as well. So I will be sharing another technique. What if I want to insert it on my cakes? I know a lot of people are actually using the straw method wherein you put it inside the straw and then you wrap it in fondant. That's okay. That's the, that's the traditional technique. But I have a different technique of doing it. Okay, so you see it's very clear and clean. I'll get scotch tape. Okay, this is a scotch tape very clear so i'll first put it this way that i hope you can see and then i'll fold it inwards just like that and then i will twist and cover this one so this will actually provide cover and insulation for your floral wire so that even if it get rusty and will be inserted on cakes uh the rust won't go through because this is clear plastic, okay? And then, after that, I will cover it again with my floral tape. So this time around, it's more safer to insert directly on cakes without the worry of the rust going inside your cake breads, okay? Because the end tips are fully covered with scotch tape and then floral tape, okay? So this is very safe to insert on your cakes already. So you see that it's like a real flower that I'm holding. I hope you can see clearly. So that's all. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, expect more live sessions like this and more artsy sessions and live sessions here on my YouTube channel. Um, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And also, um, I do have Instagram. That's the same name, Mark Kevin Style. Uh, if you do have other flowers that you wanted to learn, um, I'll be very happy to share it with you the basic way, okay? And I'll be posting schedule of classes once again. Uh, we're just arranging the schedules and I hope to see you all there on my classes also. So that's all. Thank you everyone. Have a great night. Bye!